Do you know, how to make customized conditional formatting with arrows, based on the previous cell, here is the thing. Keep watching till the end. Let's suggest you have a sequence of values, maybe it is sales per month for 3 years. And you want to easily spot if one is greater than the previous. Usually, icon set will work for this requirement. We want it to present as, how value in a certain month relates to the previous month's value dynamically. We will use the ability to rely on a formula in icon set formatting, that exists in advanced conditional formatting editor. To do this, select the cell that you want to apply conditional formatting, and select the conditional formatting option from the home tab. Then select new rule. From the new window appear, choose the format all cells based on their values option. Select the icon set as format style, then for icon style, I will use three arrow style. In values fields we will place our trick. Select the type as formula. Excel doesn't support relative reference in conditional formatting, otherwise we could use a formula like C4 greater than before, but allow us to use formulas like indirect, offset, and others, which can point to the cell we are needed. We will place in both value fields formula, by using indirect function to returns the cell values. Hence equal, indirect, open bracket, excel address function. The row num argument will be the active row number, and the active column will be the column num argument. Deduct one to compare with the previous column cell value, then close the brackets. Copy the same formula into the next value as well. Here the formula in the value field returns the previous cell value, it is from the cell B4. If the active cell value is greater than previous cell value, the green icon will be indicated, L Samba, or red icon. How does the formula works? Let's assume, if I want to read the value from cell D9, first, I will use the Excel address function to get the cell reference. Hence, equal, address, the row num argument will be, excel row function, and select the cell E9, for column num argument select E9 again, then deduct 1, so it will refer to the previous column, and close the bracket. Now it returned me the cell address that is cell D9. Next, use the indirect formula to return the cell value. You can see the formula returned me the value 500, which is from cell D9, this value, will be compared with 1000. Ok. Good, have this one for the current cell. How to extend the formula for the whole sequence? You can notice that we started by applying conditional formatting only for one cell in C4. Excel will apply the formatting based only on one cell. It will compare all cells with this one. With that limitation we will deal by coping formatting from the original cell. It will create new rule in the new cell, that will apply properly. To paste the conditional formatting, copy the conditional formatting applied cell that we have done in one cell in C4. Right click on the next cell and paste as formatting. That is it. Now your formatting will dynamically change depends on values. You can tune the formula as you want, based on further cell, on cells few rows below, use multiply or even use more sophisticated icon sets with 5 icons. And make your data easily readable. We have done it for today, you can download our tutorial file from the link in the description. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to like the video, comment your thoughts on this tutorial, 
and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos on Excel lessons.